It's okay. Okay, so we're starting about with this word. You happen to remember how it start it pronounced? It ended with ka. I was talking about copper coins. Do ka. Yep, do perfect. Okay. Um here is a sentence that had do ka in it. Um can you read this part for me? Hi. Wazuka. Wazuka na do ka. You know what this meant? Wazuka na. Wazuka. Wazuka na is very small or a slight amount. Slight amount. Wazuka. Wazuka na do ka. What does this mean? A small. A small amount of coins. Perfect. Okay, so it started with do. What did it end with? Ka. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Do ka o nusumi ni iku. What does this mean? Nusumi ni iku. To go still. To go still. Coins. Perfect. Nice. And can you read this for me? Poketto ni doka ga aru. What does this mean? Coins are in the pockets. Perfect. So there's a new word. You have to recognize this kanji? Ana. Yep. Ana o. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Ana aki. So ana aki is basically like to have a hole and something to be like pierced through. Something has a hole in it to be pierced through. For example, can you read this word for me? Anaaki doka. An example of anaaki doka would be um, old Japanese money or perhaps even the 10 yen coin. It, it's some kind of copperish coin with a hole in the middle, some kind of drilled in hole. And these in the olden days, you used to have it like this so that you could have string through these rather than having like a pocket. So you just would tie all your money on a string. It's important to know. <laughs> Do you know what a himo is? Himo. Himo. Himo is string. <laughs> string. Hi. Yep. Himo. Strings. It has the it has the kanji for ito inside of it. Which you know what ito meant? That was a word we learned. Ito. Thread. Yep. So, himo, string, comes from thread. Okay, can you read this for me? Poketto ni naifu o naifu to himo shika haite inai. Hi. See if you remember what the shika nai tells us. Shika nai? Shika nai? Haite inai. Cannot go in. Good. That that could Shika. be what haite tonight. So what? So haidu haite does mean um to go in. And inai is not. So how does not go in? How does shika affect this? Shika, with the exception of. Yes. Yep. So with the exception of a knife to himo, there's nothing else inside of the pocketo ni. So what is it saying? Inside the pocket, there's only knife. There's only a knife in the pocket. And what else? There's only a knife and a string in the pocket. Perfect. Nice. Um, our next new word is tosu. This is the same, the same kanji as tori, which is street. Um, tosu is kind of like to go through, like to be like threaded through, for example. For example... Can you read the sentence for me? Ana aki do ka o tosu himo. Hi. So we're talking about a himo. And he's describing it as string. have done this. Yeah. The string was what? The string threaded through the coins. Exactly. And the coins through the had... hole of the coins. Yep. Perfect. Yep. So that is literally. That picture right there. <laughs> okay, so next, Hi. uwa gi. This gi shows up in um, 
kiru, which is to um to wear clothing, and uwa is on top. So uwagi is the clo- is your top layer of clothing. Uwagi. Can you read the sentence for me? Uwagi no poketo ni himoshi ga haitte inai. There's only a string in the pocket of the upper vestment. Yep, on the upper garments. Perfect. So our next word, saifu, is wallet. Saifu. So you're going to have to remember the sai part of saifu. Can you read the sentence for me? Uwagi no pocket ni haite iru saifu. The wallet. The wallet was inside of the pocket of the upper garment. Perfect. Oops. And our next word is kawari. Kawari is like in exchange. This kanji right here, you've seen it before as dai to mean like the cost of something. So you can kind of see how that's related, right? That you exchange money for a service or an item. So kawari is like in exchange. So rather than doing A, you might do B. Kawari. Hi. This word started with sai. You know what it ended with? Fu. Perfect. Saifu, wallet. Can you read the sentence for me? Saifu kawari no himo. Hi. This is a string rather than a wallet, basically. So in exchange of a wallet, you have a string would be a literal translation, but it's basically saying rather than having a wallet, which, you know, a wallet is like a thingy, you know, that has like a clutch on it and zippers and stuff for your money to go in. Instead, you might use a string. So using a string instead of a wallet is basically what kawadi is meaning here instead. So swapping out your wallet for string instead. Um, Taboon is probably. Taboon. Hi. Okay, so let's go read the sentence from the book. Tabun uagi no poketo ni wa anaaki do ka o tosu. Saifu dai wa saifu kawari no himo to naifu shika haite inai undaro. Hi, you know what that all tells us? It should be so. Yes, it is. So it it's a way to case. say probably. And it's slightly probably. masculine. Females can use it just fine. But it's like why this probably would be used versus a different one. Is that it's slightly masculine. Like, per- it, it, I guess it's gender neutral is what it is. There's, there is a feminine probably that exists. So that that's why I'm saying it's a little masculine in the fact that it's not feminine. But it, uh, anybody can use that all. Um, anyway, so probably he's making a conclusion about the bodyguard who just left the Sakaba. So he's like, hmm, most likely what? What does he think is in the pocket of the bodyguard's uwag- uwagi? <laughs> the uwagi no pocket niwa with regard to that with regard to what's inside of the pocket anaaki The the niwa right here, this ni, is attached to shika haite nai. This tosu is a different um, relative clause that is being used to describe the saifu no kawari, no um, himo. Saifu no wakari no himo. Yeah. So the string that is in the place of a pocket? Is yes. that what it's saying? Uh, saifu is wallet. So the string in the re- as a replacement of a wallet that, what's the string doing? To naifu shika haite nai. So the only thing, the only two things, right? Yeah. The only thing that was in the pocket of the, of, of the upper garment were the string that was rep- in the replacement of a wallet and a knife. Yep. So this string Probably so. also has most likely money on it. Um, 
that that's what's insinuated in here. But rather than having a wallet with money in it, he has a string with what money on it. How is the money attached to the string? Money's um ana aki do ka o tosu. So <laughs> the tosu with describing the the himo. Yes. So the himo through the whole of the coins. Yes, himo is it's <laughs> basically it's saying, saying it's uh, yeah, it's basically being threaded screws through the coins. So rather than having a wallet, he has a piece of string that has the coins in it, basically. So we have the string right here, all nice tied together, little money on there, anaki no doka. So that that this was it. basically the string is threaded through the coins, and that's his basically his wallet. Rather than having a real wallet, he has a string wallet. Probably. I see. This is because this is harder to pickpocket than a real wallet, right? Uh, that, that's why you'd have a string wallet. Easier to steal one coin than someone's whole heavy ass um coin river thing. This n right here, I... that's just here gram grammarly for the daddle, to add daddle. Um it's just it's a little aggressive to have e daddle, um nai daddle. So n's just acting as a softener, is what it is. Soften. Hi. Okay, so perfect. Do, do, do. So you remember this guy? How is this red? Nusumu. Perfect to steal. How about what is this? What does this little phrase say? Can you read it for me? Yo chimbo o yato. To hire a bodyguard. Perfect. Nice. Remember yato. Do, 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 do. Next page. Our next word is yameru. Do you happen to know what yameru means? Yameru. Yame. Yamete. To stop? Basically. To quit? Yameru is to cease an action, to stop. A lot of times it's used when you're talking like, like you should, like, stop, uh, stop that idea. So like, tomenu is like the stop in your step, kind of. Yameru is to stop an action. So some kind of action should be stopped. That's not walking, basically. So uh, this tomeru is, a... is specific Hi. to the act of walking. Basically, yeah. Tometa. Okay. It, it's kind of just like tometa tends to be like ceasing in place, kind of like freezing tends to be how that's used. While yamadu is more just like, I'll do something else. <laughs> kind of what is when that tends. It comes from this This kanji means to avoid. So right. the stop it means like, I'm going to stop doing the actions. I'm going to avoid it, kind of. Um, and this is a do verb. So how do you put it in te form? Yamete. Yep, yamete. Perfect. And I'm going to skip this guy. Do you know what oku means without kanji? Uh, ah. Te oku is to do something ahead in yes. preparation for something else. It does mean that. A lot of times in Japanese, this is used to mean should, like contextually, rather than the literal meaning of to do in advance. Especially if the oku is in um, volational form. Anyway, can you read this for me? Oku is in volitional form. Okay, so sore o yamete oku. You should stop him. Basically, What's yeah. That you should you should stop that. Yeah, that. Uh, should be stopped, or that will be stopped. I should, I should stop that in advance. What is the volational form of oku? Do you know? Oko. Yep. It's normally oko, but it can be shortened as oko. Uh, that that uh, actually it can be shortened that way. Um, in our book, we will be seeing the long version oko. But there are times where it is shortened. Because shortening is big in all languages. Okay, so let's go read our line from the book. Hi. Neburi wa kono otoko o yatotta rashi koitsu kara nusumu no hayamete oko 
nobody that nobody seems rushy it seemed like it seems like nobody stopped the man mm, good guess that's man. yamedu this is yato yato was to hire dojinbo o yato it seems like nobody hired this man koitsu kara from him i should yamete oko i should stop stealing yeah from him so as you can see he hasn't actually stolen from him yet which is why we have oko here so basically before i steal from him I should not do that. Do you see how that's like the do in advance? So he's not actually uh, has done it before. That'd be a little. I that's should do. Yamate. But I should. I should basically do. writing a to do list. I will not steal from him. <laughs> I shouldn't steal from him. So stealing from him, bad idea. Is basically what it's saying. So if I if this sentence had had a different verb, Hai. like say had it had tabete or go, it would have mean. Hai. I should eat before I steal from the guy. Yes. Right? I could put any verbs in and it wouldn't mean the same thing. Uh, basically, to do this um, and then do the other thing. Kind of. So with yamedu, specifically, what it's taking. Uh, so this right here is like the topic wa. So as for stealing, I should stop it. So that's the wa for topic rather than having like o. Here, so nanika o yameru to stop something, but they've replaced that with um wa oh, to I basically make it the topic wa. So I really shouldn't steal from I... that guy. So that it just being a little bit dramatic for the wa. But as far as grammar goes, yes, like I should eat in advance before eating him. You'd probably have a different particle here, but this part would be the same. Like I... like nosumu mai ni tabete o ko. Would be I should eat before I steal from him. Hi. Okay. Kanji check. Do, 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 do. What's this word? Kane. Perfect. And this guy? Eat that. Hi. So you said kane here, which is correct, but it's actually in a slightly bigger word. How did we read in this one? Kome gane. Perfect. Um which was um a um a kind of coins that made out of um it's actually a clasp. clasp a clasp a clasp a yeah. tome to to yep. to tighten hi uh do you know what this word is chimi hi oh, chimi na ordinary perfect and how about this word doka Perfect. Coins. And this guy? Saifu wallet. Mm, nice. Do, do, do. Um, can you read this sentence for me? Sega Takaku. Kubiga Fatoi Otokoda. What does this mean? A tall and fat neck man. Perfect. He was. So now we have a new verb, which is kumu. Kumu is um literally to kind of um group something together, but it's used in this context to mean to cross, like to cross your arms, to like uh have your arms, you know, like like that. Kumu. Hi. Um. So kumu. your job is to remember this kumu. Kumu. Hi. Okay. Kumu, to cross so the arms. how would you say the man crosses fat arms in Japanese? Otoko wa utoi ude o kumunda. Perfect, kunda. So kumu, the mu's been dropped and turned into nda. Kunda. Hi. So our next word, niramu, is to glare. Niramu. niramu. Hi. For example, can you read the sentence for me? Yojinbo wa niranda. To stare. Mm. Very close to staring. The, the um Miranda. 
the bodyguard uh, stares. No, um, he he grim he grimaces he grimaces. Glares. Right? He glare. He stare very hard. So so in a mean like way. <laughs> glares at them. He frowned his eyes and Hi. squinted so, his. Nirami Chika is very similar to Ninamu to the extent that you can basically use either or in most contexts. Chika is to attach. So literally this is to glare at. But Niramu can also be used to mean to glare at. So uh they're basically interchangeable. But this is focusing more on the fact it's glaring at somebody than the other one, which is focusing more on the glaring action. Um, can you read this for me? Nirami Chika. Otoko wa ore o nirami tsutai suita suita um ore o ni niram ore o the man he glares at me perfect glares at me perfect um let's go read the sentence ude o kunda otoko wa Good guess. Ogateita. Also a super good sagate. guess. Sagate. Sagateita. Nice. Yep, sagate. It's a oriru is the other one. Oriru. So the O is correct, but it'd be D. So sagateita. Uh which is weird. I bet that's not correct as far as grammar works. So goridu would be more correct. Sagate kita. Okay. Uh interesting. Anyway, what does it say? It say here that the um, the cross the uh, the man that crosses his arms. Yep. Uh with with his hands, the man that crosses his arms um retreated retreated uh retreated what? He from the stairs, down. basically. <laughs> treated from he the treated... stairs. Uh, in here, though, it's really just saying he goes down the stairs. It's it's a weird word. You don't normally use sagaru with um kaidan. Normally, it's oridu. So uh, I can't really say why he they retreated... said sagaru here. It, it means he get he down retreated. the stairs. Just translate oh, like it's oridu. Down the sagaru he... does normally mean to retreat. So it's an odd verb choice they use here the traditional is oridu to go down the stairs so uh, but i'm confused here as to why is an old particle here at kaidan o and it's not kaidan ni well ni would make it the destination you can't if, if his destination so he... was to go down and hit the stairs then that'd be ni o is just saying he's going down and this is the location De could be a good hypothesis, but the idea is that he's off the stairs at the end and he's not on the stairs at the top. So O is kind of the only particle left to use because it can't be Ni because it's not a destination and it can't be De because at the beginning and the end, he's not on the stairs anymore. So I have a quick question at this yeah. point. Um, in the first chapter, we read a sentence that say, as I step my foot onto the road. Yes. Right. As I as I put put my bare foot onto the road, it felt right. like I it, it felt like it was slippery or something. So that was an all particle after after the noun the road, right? It wasn't that like, sounds right. I I, w I put my foot on the road. It wasn't I put my foot towards the destination that is the road. It it depends on like what you're focusing on. I believe you could use either. Um, but the road's kind of like generic, so hmm. that that'd be um, my guess. <laughs> okay, got it. Sorry, can't. Um, I'll I'll yeah, search why the sagate I, does here because uh, that is weird to have go down with sagate. I think the the reason the reason I keep thinking about it about these particles is because whenever I see a verb that has to do with movement. Mm -hmm. towards a certain direction i automatically somehow attach that verb to knee and i, I completely forgot that all can be used there as well 
Totally. It's it's really odd because you don't normally think about that. You can think of like the stepping on something. Is that's not really my goal is to put my foot there, but that it's more like you're affecting the item by putting your feet on it. Mm. Right. Like like for example, if you step on somebody and you like crush an ant, you're affecting the ant. The ant's like, ah, I've been stepped on. Oh no. So it's not really about the location where you're stepping, but more like the fact you stepped on that thing. Less than like mm. a goal. I see. So the that that's it's a why thing. Food. It's not a des. Yeah. It's a, it's a thing. It's it's not a destination to us. It's just a thing that we act upon. Exactly, and that's the same with the kaidan right here. It's not the goal. We're not trying to head toward the stairs. We're just acting upon the stairs. I see. The going down affects it. Our weight makes it crack and go. Right. <laughs> I could have gone down a hole. I could have gone down anao. Yeah. I could have yep. retreated into a hole if I wanted to. Yep. Hey. Okay. Do you know what hikui means? Hikui. Hikui. Like at the bottom of something. It kind of means that. Specifically, it's low. Um, Bottom mm. would be something slightly different, but it is related. So hikui is low. So being low is close to the bottom. Hikui. This is a lot like the English word low. So it can be low, like the height, but also can be referring to like pitch. So it could be a deep, hikui voice, for example. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you read this word for me? Dami koe. Yep, dami goe. A dami goe, so koi we read in red with the go, is a husky voice. So you get that nice um, vocal fry here. So I can't really make a husky voice, but I could possibly give myself some vocal cry. Like, hey, ah. <laughs> um, do you recognize this kanji? Hikui. 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 Yep, hikui. Perfect, which is low. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Uh, no sori is a sound effect for kind of like... um. Uh, how to describe it's it's like a thumping kind of but it's not it's like lumbering lumbering kind of walk so, mm. so kind of like thumping kind of kind of <laughs> otoko wa no sori to kaidan o sagatte kita kite utoi ude o Kumi, kumi, kumi. Kumi, hi. Oreo nira mitsukete ita. Koitsu desu ka? Hikui da mi goe da. Ah, the man. Right. The man so, um this say goes down toward me. The man go down towards me. The man goes down the stair towards me. What crossing his fat arms. Niramitsu. Yep. We say Niramitsu Kete Ita was glare. glare at. Yeah. He 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 glare at me. He was glaring at me. And then a question. Kwetsudeska. This Ita right here, just so you know, is Ita Ooh. from Iu. Uh it looks a lot like Iku. Hi, hi. So it's to say. So in other words, he goes down the stairs in a lumbering kind of way, crosses his arms, glares at me, and says, Koitsu desu ka? This guy? With a low voice, he say. Kui, with a low and husky sound, he say. Um, Koitsu desu ka? This guy? Is it this guy? And how does he, what kind of voice does this... he say that in? A low yep. and husky sound. Yeah. Rasp, um, not rasping like, sound. Nice, uh, husky, right? Husky. Yeah. Nice, uh, husky, deep, manly voice. 
Um, so right and, now is our and, halfway, and, yeah. <laughs> and his arm was fat. <laughs> so so he, he had a fat neck and fat arms. Uh, they probably mean muscly <laughs> context, but yeah. Oh, futoi as in thick, thick, thick. not fat, but thick. <laughs> Got some thick hands. Okay. Uh, okay. So halfway point. So I'll see you in two seconds.